Hey, so recently I've been taking in a lot of content from very successful people. Um, I enjoy listening to podcasts like Diary of a CEO or Founders, um, but I also listen to audiobooks, primarily like biographies or autobiographies. And recently, a common theme that I've found among these successful people is a morning routine. So this year, I made a promise to myself that I'd start focusing more on my physical health, my mental health, and not so much on what other people always are wanting from me or asking from me. And I'm kind of happy to say that I've been really going strong so far with a solid morning routine. Over the last six months, I've slowly started implementing this acronym known as TIME, which stands for thankfulness, insight, uh, meditation, and exercise. And if I am disciplined enough to really execute all four, then just, wow, my day is just so much better. I'm more productive. I'm slightly more calm, uh, definitely less irritable. And at the end of the day, I'm just so exhausted that I just feel a, a large sense of accomplishment, which feels good, right? So now I'm still definitely working on this. Um, I don't do all four every day. I've slowly added each one kind of one by one um, until I get used to it. And I just know that in the future, I'll be more automatic with it. Actually, I, I saw one quote this week that stood out to me that was consistency is what transforms average into excellence. And I really liked that a lot. But then I looked it up and who said it and I found out it was Tony Robbins. And if you don't know who Tony Robbins is, he's like the most successful, well-known life coach of all time. So that just kind of made me feel dumb. I felt like, I don't know, <laughs> like of all the of all the quotes to choose from, I picked like the most successful life coach ever. That just, I don't know, it makes me feel like I, I could have come with a better quote, I'm sure. But hey, it's all right. So anyways, let's dive into each one of these. In December of last year, I started working out weekly, but when January came along, I made it kind of like this resolution for myself, and I started really being diligent about going to the gym at least four times a week, and it actually all started with another book uh, by Tim Grover, and basically that book puts everything in perspective in the sense of choices. Everything comes down to choices. It starts as early as you wake up, what choice are you going to make? Are you going to hit the snooze button or are you going to get up? Um, and I don't want to sound like every single morning I've, I've done great. There have definitely been mornings where I've hit snooze and I made the wrong choice, right? But that's okay because throughout the last six months, I've definitely upheld my commitment and got myself up more than I haven't. So I'm really proud of myself for that. But after I got on a really consistent basis at the gym, I started replacing my music with podcasts or audiobooks. I no longer felt like I needed that motivation to keep me going, um, to keep me pumped up in the morning so early. I was able to really do my workout, but also focus on some alone time and what I wanted to do was learn and grow and um, take in more more information that would be useful for my career, for, for my life, anything like that. This was interesting for me because I've never really been a reader at all. I hate books. I read one page at a time and then I get really distracted and I have to go back and reread and then I feel discouraged with my progress and then I'm reading and then sometimes I'm reading with next to my fiance and I'm comparing how fast she's reading with with whatever I'm reading and then become then I become more concerned if she's actually retaining the information because she's reading so fast and doubling the pages and it just becomes this whole big thing in my mind about oh my god I'm reading so slow I'm not this is this is slowly becoming a waste of time however with audiobooks, I can easily retain the information. Um, I definitely am engaged, but at the same time, I could be doing something else like doing a chore around the house, working out, things like that. And before this year, I was probably taking in one entire book 
all the way through per year. But this year, I've listened to 14 audiobooks so far, and most of them have been at the gym in the morning. So by 9 a.m., I'm going into work. I've taken care of exercise and insight, and that makes me feel pretty good, knowing that I've knocked off two big things where I've, I've helped myself mentally and physically so far. Now, these next two things are the newest to my morning routine, and they're like my problem children. We're just, we're just feeling each other out right now. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. So in the last few audiobooks, a common topic that has come up a lot is meditation. And I have a weird kind of experience with meditation. It's it's always seemed very hippie to me. Even talking about it is kind of like, has an embarrassing connotation to it. Um, When I was when I was in high school or college, my my mother really got into meditation and she went to silent retreats and even taught mindfulness meditation for a while. And it was just always kind of weird to me. It, I, I'm glad how it's helped her, but I didn't really care to know much about it. Um, I vaguely understood it as she was sitting in a room by herself quiet, but it's really helped her a lot and I'm glad it's worked for her. Now, I'm the type of person who really takes on a lot of stress. I feel like my whole life, it's take on more stress or else you're weak, and I can't, I can't meditate because I can't focus or I've got too many things going on, um, and I don't, need, I don't need this extra help of how to balance stress. I just need to figure out how to take on more. But in the last month, I've tried to put all that aside and I've learned a little bit about transcendental meditation. And before I go into it, I want to say that I'm not actually practicing it yet properly. I know that um, I, I need to see a guided teacher first. There's like four sessions that you have to do. But right now, I'm just taking the time out of my morning to meditate. At night, I'll set two alarms. Um, Each of them are 30 minutes apart. This first one is to wake me up. The second one is to stop my meditation and start getting ready for the gym. Now, I don't have like a mantra or anything. Uh, I just really try to stay focused on my breathing, uh, let whatever thoughts kind of come into my mind, which is something that I like about transcendental meditation, and then try to let them go on my way and focus again on my breathing. Towards it's it's kind of weird. Towards the end of the like 20 minutes, you can actually start feeling how long like 20 minutes is with your eyes closed, and it's just odd. But towards the end, I'll try to start thinking about the intentions that I I want to set for the day. Uh, what's my priority for the day? What do I want to focus on myself? And then boom, the alarm goes off, and I'm ready to start my day. I also try really hard to not look at my phone until I go to the gym. And this is a big part of my new morning routine and my new morning meditation. Um, I've heard someone say that looking at your phone first thing in the morning is like letting a hundred people into your bedroom with you, which really kind of grosses me out. But uh, it's true. You're opening your eyes and instantly you're just opening yourself up to everything going on in your little world all at once. And if it's Instagram or scrolling through emails or any other notifications, that immediately just floods into your mind during your meditation. And it changes from what are my intentions for the day to how am I possibly going to get through the day? How am I going to make all this happen? So don't do that. I'll never do a podcast before 8 a.m. so that all of my amazing loyal fans don't miss out on uh, any notifications. That was a joke, by the way. It's okay. Um, maybe I'll have loyal fans one day, but not today. Uh, let's move on. Finally, thankfulness, which is the definitely the hardest, the hardest part for me. Um, I find this to be the most cringiest, just stupidest thing, but I... I am trying to do it. I just really overthink this and I never know really what to write down. And frankly, I think it's kind of embarrassing that I'm just writing down my thoughts and what I'm thankful for. And it's that's 
kind of weird for me to say because I write all day, um, or at least chat GBT writes a lot for me during the day. But so yeah, so I can't really give much input on this part of it yet. Um, I'm definitely the most inconsistent with this one so far, just because it feels like a, a chore to me more than anything, actually. Um, the other ones kind of feel different because I can actually feel a difference in how how much more calm I am or, or my physical, I feel a lot better, but it just seems kind of corny to me. I don't know, it's just like if someone were to ask me like, what'd you write down in your gratitude journal today? I'd, I'd be like, what, what are you talking about? Why? Why would I ever share this information with you? Why am I doing this? But it's just, I don't know. It's just weird. So yeah, so that's that's the morning routine. Um, this is basically primarily set to weekdays for me right now. I do it five days a week, but here we go. I'm going to dive into it, okay? So my first alarm goes off at 5.02. I get up uh, by 5.10 and start meditation. Then my second alarm will go off at 538. Uh, why that specific number? Uh, I don't know. I just set it to 538. It's my morning routine. Back off. Go get your own. Uh, you don't need to worry about it. But after that, I immediately go into the thankfulness part when I can. Uh, that's usually between 539 and 545. Just write down a quick paragraph about what I have coming up, what I'm thankful for usually. I try not to overthink everything. Then I'll get up, brush my teeth, uh, fill my water bottle, feed the dog, and boom, I'm out the door and at the gym by 610. Unless this extremely long traffic light uh, just stays red for way too long. It's just super annoying. But yeah, so 610, I'm usually at the gym. Then I work out for about 50 minutes, listen to an audiobook or a podcast the whole way through, and I'm back home again, typically around like 7:10. Uh, then it's immediately going to going to breakfast time. Um, for my 90s kids, it immediately takes me back to that uh, commercial that they played on like Nickelodeon. Gotta feed your body, feed your mind, make your muscles big and strong, keeps going all day long. You know what I'm talking about. If not, look it up. It's a great commercial. But yeah, so 7.10 to 7.30, we're eating. I started out with protein waffles. Then I got bored of those. Then I went to like Jimmy Dean's sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches. Then I got uh, big on protein shakes for a while. Got bored of that. And lately I've been like on a Greek yogurt uh, granola phase, but I can already tell it's going gonna, it's gonna to be out soon. So I definitely need some new breakfast recommendations, but the goal is to keep it pretty fast, um, not too time consuming. I can't be like cooking something. I can't really be making eggs. I don't know, it just takes too long. But I need something new. Anyways, 7.30 to 8.15, shower, get ready, um, hang out with the, with the home girl, and then boom, I'm on my way to work. And when I get to work, I'm like, Wow, that's a lot, right? I've accomplished a lot and it's not even 9 a.m. yet. The day hasn't even started and don't get like don't get me wrong, some mornings I'm barely making it through this. I'm grumpy, I'm tired. Uh, I don't want to talk to anyone. I'm just I'm trying not to get super down on myself. Uh, I'll hit the snooze button once and boom, my whole timing for the, the whole morning is just completely off and then I'm rushing and I just got to keep going and remind myself that it's all going to be okay and um, my day is full of an infinite amount of choices that I can, I can do better on. And if I make the right choices typically in the morning, uh, then the rest of the day I'll be more inclined to make those good choices. But yeah, the morning routine is something I strongly recommend implementing. It's thankfulness, insight, uh, meditation and exercise. And I do recommend doing these one at a time like I am just very slowly over the span of a few months. If you do it all at once, you're going to just feel very discouraged. Um, I think I've kind of implemented meditation and thankfulness too close to each other. I need more time to really give myself to dive into meditation before I can just start implementing more on thankfulness. I think that's the reason why I'm not fully 
grasping it yet or feeling any uh, significance from it. Um, but yeah, this is actually my first podcast that I've recorded in the morning. Um, I am extremely tired. I've been up since fucking 5 a.m. So uh, yeah, give me a break, all right? I definitely need some coffee soon. The morning meditation is something that's really helping me right now, trying to stay positive. It's my morning is definitely the best part of my day. Um, and by the end of the day, I'm just so tired that by 9 p.m. I just I just want to go to sleep and and get ready for for my first alarm to go off. So anyways, yeah, it's it's definitely something that I'm I'm working towards improving, but I'm really glad I've implemented it so far. But thanks a lot for listening. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to down as much coffee as I possibly can right now to get through the rest of the day. It's uh, currently a Friday, so it's been a long week, but we're going to get through it. And I was able to do my morning routine every day this week, so I'm proud of myself. Anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. Have a good day. Thanks.